I'm Sarah Gregson with the Job Gym Podcast. Um, we're going to give you lots of different interviews, lots of different tips about loads of things from mental health to SIA, from SIA to warehouse, loads of different sort of things that you could look into. We're going to interview tutors, we're going to interview hopefully some learners and also some ind- industry representatives just to give you a bit of a hint about what we've got going on in the next few weeks. So I'm here today talking about job searches with digital skills with a lovely Tony Street who is one of our tutors here. Hello everyone, are you all okay today? Um, so what we're going to talk to them today, Sarah's been asking me some questions about... I have job Go searches on. and digital skills. Yeah, digital so skills. What changed when searching for a job? Um, it's changed dramatically. I mean, traditionally, we used to go into job centres to search for jobs, but now uh, the biggest change is using the internet uh, and the World Wide Web to search for jobs. In fact, 70 to 80% of employers now use the internet for search for jobs. And of those um, searches that they make, 60% of them are successful in filling out a post, which is quite amazing figures now. 70 to 80% is a lot higher than I thought, to be honest. Yeah, it is. It is so, more. what would you recommend to use to do this? Okay, so um, most people now, uh, if, you, if you're looking for work, uh, you should have a LinkedIn account. It's like the Facebook for jobs, if you like, okay? Um, you can do lots of things on LinkedIn, you can upload your photo. Um, you can showcase your skills and experience, show where you've worked, um, which is really, really good. It puts you out there. And it's one of the, the, the highest rated, uh, ranked searches on, the, on Google. So if an employer searches for you mm. and they look for your name in Google, LinkedIn always comes up first. Um, any other recommendations? Yeah, well, when you're on LinkedIn, I think it, it'd be very wise for you to join groups, um, to follow companies that you're particularly interested in, and certainly sectors, mm-hmm. um, and see what's going on in the market. You can make connections with new friends as well and find out what's going on in that sector that you want to work in, which mm-hmm. is really, really useful. That's brilliant. Well, um, so I've used Facebook dating before, but how else could social media help you with job searches? Um, well. It's funny you should mention that. Facebook, you can you can um, uh, advertise um, and do a bit of a show and tell. Share with your friends and with your immediate connections. Um, put a short video out there saying you're looking for work. Explain what you're looking for. And sometimes word of mouth works really, really well. You know, they can say, oh, I know someone that's working or looking for work in a particular area. Um, which can then help you, you know, um, you can get on that ladder. And I have heard and known of incidents uh, where our some of our learners have you know put themselves out there looking for work and then got one that's, so that's brilliant good. obviously with using social media like you see on the news all the time that people put stuff out there is there any drawbacks or dangers to it yeah there are you've got to be careful um it's classed as what they call digital dirt now so if there's any photographs out there that are, you know perhaps they're not the most appropriate or um, any content in some posts that you've put in there or any offensive tweets for example um, they can cause you some damage so um, let's just say for example you're going for a driver's job and that employer wants you to drive early on a Monday morning if your um, if your uh, socials are showing that you like to party quite hard of a weekend and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that mm. then you should keep your profile closed and keep them private yeah uh, because it could be off-putting that employer might decide well hang on I'm not so sure if this person's right for me because they see your social activity uh, could perhaps have an impact on your employability, yeah, which mm-hmm. is not a good thing. So you've got to be careful. So it's really locking that profile down. Definitely, yeah, keeping it, keeping it personal. It's your, it's your, you know, it's your stuff. So keep it to yourself. So Sunday clubs okay, but as long <laughs> as no one knows, that's the main thing. <laughs> um, that's brilliant. So is there any any other things that we could do? Yeah, hashtag searches are really underutilised and um, they're used an awful lot on Twitter and Instagram. So if you, for example, if you type ha- in hashtag jobs or hashtag warehousing jobs, um, that will hone the things down to more specific areas uh, and you can see what's out there already, uh, you know, and tap into that chat, you know, get into that, uh, start chatting and, and getting to, to know people. Uh, you'll soon quickly build up a, a network and a following and get involved and ho- you know hopefully get that job you need. Oh, that's brilliant. So what <clears> would you say to learners who struggle with this? What, what could we do? Okay, uh, so as a learner, if you want to get yourself out there and get yourself noticed, um, um, I had a quick search on Snaptap and Snapchat and TikTok and they're also doing things like that. TikTok are making recommendations and places where to go f- to work. Employers are posting up there and so are individuals. You know, there's nothing better than a, a fantastic advert about yourself, your skills, your mm-hmm. abilities, and what you can do 
uh, who knows who it can get picked up by and you know you can, you can land yourself that job that you want TikTok's a new one to me I wouldn't have thought about that so what sort of other ideas have you got if somebody's really interested and wants to know more information about it Okay, well, you could visit us at Mantra the Job Gym. We've got a range of different qualifications and courses that you can do. Um, I would definitely recommend the digital enablement course. Uh, that will give everyone you know, a good understanding of what digital skills is all about and how you can put that together to help your job search. And then we've got the securing employment, whereby we can help you home in on the um, em employability skills, such as interview techniques, um, making sure your CV looks right, so you can put it on LinkedIn. And the good thing about LinkedIn is, as well, if you send your CV off to an employer, and they go on to LinkedIn and see you on LinkedIn, that kind of confirms your skills and experience. Mm. So it's really, it's really, really quite useful. So there are lots of things you can do. So come and see us at Mantra, and we, you know, we can do something Brilliant. about it. Get that job you need. That's awesome. Thanks, Tony. You are I'll good. definitely have you back to maybe talk about <laughs> some CV tips and stuff that like that in the sounds future. Sounds good. Happy to be here. Excellent. Well, as you know, you can always drop us a message on social media. We also have a website. We also have Facebook, Instagram, all that lovely stuff. And we do have a contact telephone number if you want, which is 33 3220 is it six six four five? There you go. Off the top of my head, like I knew it. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, but there's loads of social media you can message us on. So that's it for now.